Hello, hello, hello! My goodness, we've got quite a busy room already. Let's see, who is here? Let's see, oh, we got Miranda, first one in the chat. Beth Ann, hello. Yeah, I've been so excited as you're watching the octopus video. Let's see, we have Tyler and Ann. Hello, Ann. Cheryl, hello, hello. Kimmy, hi, Kimmy. Let's see, oh my goodness, 2.30 a.m. here, wow. Beth says, I'm on my tablet, so hello everyone. My keyboard doesn't always want to work, so apologize in advance when I get home. I can use my phone. Sounds good, Beth. Let's see, Cheryl. Let's see, Miranda. There we are. And Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Let's see. Oh, Mia. Hi, Mia. Donna. Hello, Donna. She says, hello, hello, all you beautiful people. Awesome, everybody's here, all right. Well, let's see, so big things that happened today were we uploaded the review video for the Arteza pencils, which you can see here, I made this handy chart, which um, there were those are having, there was, there was somebody was having an issue with the, oh, hi Jim, welcome, welcome. Uh, issue with the Excel one that I uh, put on the Facebook group. So I created a PDF. So I made this in Excel. It's just a color chart for the Arteza pencils. Um, so it, there's PDFs in the Facebook group. Now, let me rewind though. So hi, Loretta. So let's go back before we talk about pencils. Everybody in the Facebook group voted and uh, the Magical Jungle Book is the one that won. And again, if yours didn't get picked, don't worry, we're gonna go through all of them. So we will get to yours eventually, I promise. And then we put on Facebook and Instagram that we were choosing between the flamingos or the chameleon and the flamingos won hands down so flamingos it is and it's nice because it's got lots of uh lots of little things about it that'll keep us nice and uh, you know not, nothing too tedious lots of different little things to color 
So flamingos for sure. And then let's talk about pencils. So today I put out the review for the Arteza 72 count color pencils, as well as the review for the 72 count uh, watercolor pencils. We are gonna use the regular color pencils today. Let's pull these over here. I've got them, the trays out. But I'll do it so you can see this handy little box right here. They are the Arteza 72 color pencils expert. Hi, Kelly. All right, and so there's three trays in here. Um, I've reorganized them to a color uh, organization that, that works for me, which is this. This is not the order they come in in the box, but this is what works for me. And so I went ahead and did the color chart today because the Arteza color pencils are what we are going to be using today. Now, for those of you, I know some like to use the same pencils to help color along. If you don't have them and you would like to get the Arteza pencils, I have the links in both the review video and in the description below this one. Um, so you can find those. I have the US and the UK links for these ones, as well as I have the link for uh, the Amazon link for the Magical Jungle Book. So I was gonna do this page with my polychromos, but I just caved and bought the Arteza pencils. Oh, awesome, okay, 30% off Amazon. Uh, that's the other thing, is if you do want to order them through the Arteza website, I have a coupon code that is good until August 5th, and that is 10% off. So on the Arteza website, the color pencils are about $30, so then 10% uh, off of that. So I'm not quite sure how much they are on Amazon, but anyway, the links are, are uh, in the description below. So, like I said, I have the 72 count, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see, oh, and in case anybody wants to get a second view here. Hi, Arian. Oh, hi, Samantha. Uh, in case anybody wants to get a second view, this was the page that I colored. I know I gave you a little preview for half of it. This was the page that I colored for the uh, review video. This half here was done with the watercolor pencils. This half was done with the color pencils. I know it's a little catch a little bit of the light here there you go so that was fun yes Miranda um, if you are in the Facebook group I added the file the PDF file and so you should be able to download the color chart uh, just fine and that's in the face oh I didn't even check I had a million things today let's check and see if Nightbot is working because I did not think to check Ah, okay, it's working today. Woohoo, I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so that is our Facebook group right there. If you are not a part of it, feel free to click through and I've got the PDF file on there. Um, I'm also trying out some new music today, new page, new music. We'll see. I'm not sure I'm entirely sold on all of the songs on here, but yeah, I suppose I could get my chord out of, out of view there. Let's see. Let's fix that. Hi, Pat. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so here is our page we're going to do tonight. We've got our flamingos. I've been thinking today about what I want to start with. My instinct would be start with the flamingos just because they're front and center. But maybe we could start slow and start with some flowers, huh? Yeah, I think that might actually be preferable today. Flamingo music or are you maybe flamenco music we could find some flamenco I don't know that there's flamingo music if you find some flamingo music you let me know <laughs> I was going for well initially I was going oh hey Kimmy there is our first super chat of the night thank you Kimmy so much I was going for like initially I was looking for like jungly kind of stuff but it's a lot harder to find you know nice kind of quiet jungle music so I just went for happy and just something different than what we normally do. So maybe, maybe like, you know, enchanting a little bit, but we'll see. I might change up the music for next time. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you, Kimmy. That was so wonderful. Jungle theme music. Just, just drums, just drums the whole time. That, that won't be pounded in our head at all. <laughs> Let's get some cheers in the chat for Kimmy for her super chat. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's start off, let's start off kind of slow. There's no rush. Now I know I'm going to do the flamingos, you know, kind of a pinky and an orangey. So let's see, jungle sounds, <laughs> just, just tigers roaring, monkeys. Yeah, that, that might be, that might be a bit much. 
We try to go for more relaxing. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and start with, you know, let's start with this flower. Nice big flower. There you go. Jungle music has too many drums and mon monkeys. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna start with this little flower right here, okay? So let's see, we got brand new colors to choose from here. Pierre says, hello de la France. Hello from France, hello Pierre. Thank you for joining us. Let's see, Kimberly, did I see your name already? Okay, Kimberly, if I missed you, hello Kimberly. <laughs> Try not to miss anyone. Okay, so we're gonna do some blues. Never enough drums, <laughs> there you go. Do like Jumanji style drums, that will give everyone bad dreams. Okay. Let's do, let's do blueberry and let's do Mykonos and let's do robin egg blue, shall we? Some nice quiet kind of blue petals here. So what did I say? We said blueberry. See, that's the thing too, is I'm needing to get used to a new order of pencils. This is all brand new for me. Hi, Andrea. Okay, so we have Blueberry, A0, whoop, help if we got in there, there we go, A070, then we have Mykonos, Mykonos Blue, A104, and what did we say, Robin Egg Blue, let's take a look here, Robin Egg Blue, here we go. Okay, so we've got Blueberry, Mykonos, and Robin Egg Blue. Okay. Okay. So let's get started here. Let's see, do we want to do darker on the tip? Yes. How was everybody? Well, for those that are cel that celebrated Fourth of July, how was everybody's Fourth of July? We had it pretty low key. It's pretty hot here to go do a lot of the traditional, you know, parades and stuff. And so we had kind of a low key day. The kids got to hang up Fourth of July decorations. Had a little Fourth of July craft for them. And then I made, you know, the typical burgers, corn on the cob, all that good stuff. And then we took the kids to go see the fireworks, which I got to tell you, they're little still. So when you've got to stay up till 930 at night to see fireworks, it's a little rough on them. I got to say our youngest was, I think he was still recovering a little bit from uh, being up that late because my kiddos are usually at bed by eight. Uh, we are starting with the blueberry, Donna. So we're doing blueberry, Mykonos, and robin egg blue. So we're starting with the blueberry, the A070. Sorry, I realized I was out of frame. I swear I'm out of practice, I'm a little off today. But yeah, blueberry, Mykonos, and robin egg blue. So we're starting with the blueberry. Hi, Alyssa. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there you go, Kimberly, you got it. <laughs> and we're just going a little bit darker on the edge and a little bit lighter. The dogs are scared of the fireworks. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Hi, Nika. Nope, you're not too late. We just got started. We're coloring a little flower here. The instinct was to start with flamingos, but I kind of wanted to start out slow today. So we are starting with something simple like a flower. And maybe we'll move on to the flamingos because, I mean, the main, the main portion of the picture kind of sets the tone for the rest of the colors that you're going to choose. Oh. 
They are Arteza pencils, Alyssa. I put out a review for them earlier today. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to try them out. I colored another picture with it and I really enjoyed it. So yes, we are doing the art. We're using the Arteza 72 count color pencils. Yeah, we did just some little, you know, those little poppers where you just pull the string and, you know, a bunch of confetti pops out a little bit. And the cats definitely went running for, for the bedroom a little bit. They, they were not pleased with it. All right, so that was Blueberry. Now we're gonna use the Mykonos Blue, the A104. I have three dogs, my youngest being a three month old lab that doesn't let mama get Oh, here, get much done. Ah, I understand that. Hi, Sherry. Oh, everybody with little puppies. Bonnie watched the fireworks machine. She loved being outside with us. Oh, that's awesome, Beth. All right, so here we have the Mykonos blue. Such a different blue from the first one. Very vibrant. We're just coloring pretty lightly here. I'm not pressing too hard. Are these pencils wax or oil? You know, that's actually a good question, Kathy. I'm gonna look that up real quick. I meant to look it up earlier. Granddaughters Jordan and Emma are here. Hello, Jordan and Emma. I meant to look that up earlier. Let's look that up. One second. Arteza pencils, wax, or oil. Normally you can tell, but these ones I definitely question about a bit. They are a wax base lead. Yeah, they've got a wax core. That makes sense. They're pretty soft. So yeah, they're a wax core. Yeah, I, I knew that. I suspected. That was something I probably should have looked up beforehand. Yes, they are a wax base pencil. Oh, Beth, no, these are the, um, these are the, uh, just the regular color pencils, not the, not the watercolors. These are the regular color pencils. No, that's fine, Samantha. That's great. There's a lot of colors that are similar to it. I would just take for Prismacolors, I would just take a nice dark blue, a me you know, medium blue and a lighter blue. That's basically what I'm doing. Dogs are 13, 14, 15, 16. Zoe is 15, went to the vet. She has a fungal skin infection. Oh, poor baby. Like I needed any more pencils. I went ahead and ordered the 72 with the coupon. Oh, awesome, Jim. So we'll see. Be hard to be my prison. Well, the nice thing about these two is that like trying them out isn't, you know, uh, they're not a super high cost pencil. So they're, you know, they're, they're affordable even, and even to just try them out. And then with the coupon, that helps too. One dog is enough for me. There you go. That's great, Jim. I do love Prismas. Yeah, our last page we did with Prismas. I agree, Kimberly. That was one of the things is that they they have the feel of a Faber Castell, but they're thinner. But they feel like they're more durable than the Prisma colors for sure. And I really haven't had much breakage. I've actually been using the electric pencil sharpener with them, not the handheld one, and they have been holding up great. You can see they've got a nice long point, and there's been no breaking. Oh, Kelly, thank you so much for another super chat. Thank you so much, Kelly. Chat, can we get some cheers for Kelly for a super chat? Thank you so much. It's so generous. Say like pigment, like Prisma, but hard like polychromos. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Because they don't, they don't like kind of, um, Prisma colors are, are pretty creamy when they blend together, but you don't quite get that with this. But they are softer than the polychromos. That's a good way to describe it. They're, they're a solid mix between Prisma colors and polychromos. Thank you so much, Kelly. Here we 
go. Okay, so that was the Mykonos. <laughs> That's great, Jim. Yeah, so that was the Mykonos blue. And then we are gonna do the Robin's Egg Blue, which is the A044. And that's what we're gonna put here. We're just gonna color lightly. Nice light layers. And I've only colored one picture with these, so they're a bit of a learning curve for me as well. Just like that. There we go. Now, it's pretty bad Wi-Fi today. That's all right, Mia. It's pretty light, so I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to put a second layer. So I'm starting again with the blueberry, the A070. Oh my goodness, we got a super chat war going on. Thank you, Sarah, so much. You all are so amazing. Can we get some cheers in the chat for Sarah? Thank you. That's okay, Donna. That's just fine. All right, so we're going to take the blueberry. Thank you so much, Sarah. You all are so wonderful. And this time around, we're going to press just a little bit harder. Yeah, I'm thinking they might be mine soon too, Kimberly. <laughs> I'm okay with that kind of war, Sarah. <laughs> there we go. We're going to go over that just a bit darker. Oh my goodness, Jim. Oh, you all are crazy. Thank you so much, Jim. <laughs> Can we get a cheer in chat for Jim for that super chat? <laughs> you all are so wonderful. Thank you. I've got the uh, the chat up here on my other monitor, and I also have my phone ready in the chat too, so that I don't miss anything. And so I'm looking down coloring, but then I'll see out of my corner eye this big block of color, and I'm like, wait a minute, oh my. What can you say about Faber-Castell? Okay, so I can't say much. I haven't used them a ton. They're not my go-to. Um, just because they're an oil-based and they're a little bit harder, there's definitely a learning curve to them. Probably if I spent more time with them, I could, I would probably enjoy them more. But my thing is also is because it's such an expensive set of pencils and I already have Prismacolors and I already have um, some of the Caran d'Ache, when you have such an affordable alterna alternative that is similar to uh, to Faber-Castell's like, like the Arteza, then I'm sort of just like, well, do I really want to go try the other ones? We're moving on to the Mykonos now. Donna, there's an earthquake near you? I know there was one in California. I hope everything's okay. Oh, no worries, Alyssa. Thank you so much. Yeah, Donna, stay safe. There was that 6.4 or 6.6 .6 that was, I think that was today. I don't know, my day's sort of running together. That was in California today. Are you in, not that you have to pinpoint where you're at, but are you in, in that general neck of the woods there, Donna? Are you feeling like aftershocks from the one this morning? I don't know if the aftershocks last that long. Interesting. Yeah, best wind layering, exactly. There's one north of my island too. Oh my goodness, it was the day for everybody. Please stay safe. That's scary. We just have heat here. I'm assuming everything's okay though, since you're still uh, online. Nothing knocked out, or you know, no no electricity electricity knocked out or anything. 
but it's always unnerving when you feel them, even when they're small. North Carolina, okay, okay. It was further away from me, all right. Well, stay safe, ladies. We're going over with the robin egg blue now. Aftershocks can last for months, okay. Oh, that's a little eerie, Jim. <laughs> It seemed like the one in California today was the San Andreas Fault from where... I know there have been a lot of little ones off the coast, uh, but from where it was positioned more inland, it seemed like it was probably the San Andreas that went off today. Okay, so we've got our blue here, but I would like to liven it up just a little bit. And so I'm going to grab... Let's take a look at our colors here. All these colors are new for me, so I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right one. Let's zoom out here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to add a contrasting color that we're going to use as sort of a shadow. I don't want to use a cool color. We're going to use a warm color. I am leaning towards garnet. I had half my family text me yesterday because I live in California. I had to put up a Facebook post reminding everyone that California is a big state. That's fair. Yeah, because I looked at where, because uh, this... Uh, map that I looked at showed the lines about how far out went, you know, the furthest that people could have felt it. And so, you know, it was definitely more on the southern half of the of the state. Let's see, oh, hello, Philip. Did I miss you? There we go. Anyone know how well this style translates to digital coloring or know anyone that teaches streams slash digital coloring? So, Philip, this actually can translate well into digital coloring. I have a page that I digitally colored. Uh, but, 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 let's see. Let me grab it real quick. One second. Give me one second, Philip. I want to show you something here. And I use my same style for digitally coloring as I do analog coloring. Let me pull it up here one second. I use a program called Procreate. Give me one second. I'll pull it up. I've shown it in here once before, but you have, since you haven't seen it yet, I'll pull it up. There we go. Okay. Here is what I've colored digitally. Same, the same illustrator. So this, or yes, yeah, so this is a, this is an image by Johanna Bassford. I have the Apple Pencil. I'm very new, but want to learn, use Pigment app on my Galaxy Note and got an iPad mini recently. Okay, well you should be able to download, um, I have an iPad Pro, it's a it's an older uh, generation one, but I was able to download um, uh, 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 Procreate on it. So the nice thing about it is that you can zoom in. And so I use the same basic technique all the way, watch some videos on Procreate today, exactly. I will say it took me longer because when you zoom in like this, all of a sudden you're coloring a space that's this big. So it was like I was coloring this giant picture of it. And the cool thing is, is Procreate has a program where you can actually uh, watch the replay. So if we go to video, time-lapse replay. Now this is gonna take a little while, but you get the idea, you can see what I did with it there. If you go to my Instagram, which is exclamation point Instagram. There you go. Um, I have a sped up time lapse version of this. You can see I'm working on this flower over here. Um, but it's it's absolutely great. I love this program because then you've got all your layers. You can see how many different layers. I have for this particular image. I got, you know, other backgrounds I was toying with. Um, you have the smudge tool, which helps with the blending, and you've got loads of different kinds of brushes, you know, calligraphy, painting, artistic. So yes, if you're wanting to digitally color, these, this part, the, the way that I color and, and everything can translate into digital. So uh, I use the Apple Pen for mine. It definitely helps with pinpointing a lot of those small spots. Let's see. My friends in California too, yeah. Of course I personally just didn't feel a thing. Oh, that's good, Sarah. I need to watch Procreate for it. Yeah, Pro yeah, Procreate's great for if you want to color digitally. 
Yeah, you can do that in Procreate. So what I did is Johanna has a lot of free downloads. And so I just downloaded one of her free coloring pages and then colored it directly onto there. You can open up the picture. You can add digital, yes, you can add digital sparkers and sparkles. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and use... Sienna Brown or... Actually, you know what? Let's use, let's try passion fruit. That's a new one. Awesome. Thanks, Philip. Have you ever done a live stream like this using Procreate? I have not. I have not. Uh, the live streams that we've been doing is actually, let's see, this is our third page. So what? This is week number three or four for this. I've done uh, uploads of YouTube videos for a while and, you know, tutorials and lots of little videos uh, on Instagram. But this was the first uh, attempt well, you know, it's been a couple weeks, but this is uh, coloring on live stream uh, is, is new-ish. But it seems to be working out, so there's always uh, the possibility for expansion. You know what? I'm going to do garnet instead. I think I want to do garnet. Yeah, no problem, Phil. Okay, so I decided to go with garnet instead, A072. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, because I want to make this pop just a little bit more. So very lightly. Coloring the side here. Think of this as the shadow that you're creating on it. You can use more than one color. It definitely helps to give it depth. And again, this is garnet that we're using and we're just coloring nice and lightly. My phone is not on silent. I apologize. <laughs> that was my bed. That being said, Philip, I also, there's a reason that it's Emily Illustrator by my name is because I don't just do coloring. I also do a lot of, uh, what kind of color is that? It's, it's garnet, Samantha. So it's like a, let me zoom in here. That's right, because you're using that. Okay, so this is like a darker red. You could use like a, a, a Tuscan red. Let me pull my... Here, let me grab my color thing for Prismacolor here so I can let you know. So... They are, Jim. So lots of light layers works for this. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. So we used... I'm going to zoom out for just a second so everybody can see. All right, so these are the two color charts. This is my Prismacolor, this is my Arteza. So if you're coloring, coloring along with Prismacolor, we used Blueberry, which is similar to PC902 Ultramarine. Then we used Mykonos Blue. Yeah, my cord's in the way. Okay, so Mykonos Blue is going to be similar to True Blue. And then Peacock Blue... I suppose it would be most similar to non-photo blue, but you could use something like electric blue or light cerulean blue for those three colors. And then I'm using garnet now, and I would say your closest to garnet would be either Tuscan red or probably mahogany. Yeah, Tuscan red or mahogany for those. And I know I said those fast, uh, but uh, you can always uh, go back a little bit if you need to. Okay, so we're just, this is with the garnet, so we're just coloring lightly here. Boom. That's one nice thing about having color charts is that you can look at it and you can compare it directly. Oh, zoom back in, super zoom. <laughs> there we go. And you can see these colors, they're pretty bright too. I know it always looks a little bit different on, on video when we're filming it from overhead, but I'm curious to see what the um, picture afterwards looks like. Okay, so that was Garnet. Now we've got a little bit of a harsh line, so what I want to do is I kind of want to blend that in a little bit. So we're going to use... 
Let's see. Let's use... Let's grab Elephant Gray. That is A... Let's see. Space Gray... Elephant Gray. Here we go. Since they're new to me, too, I don't exactly have all the spots memorized yet. I literally just organized these this afternoon. I like the look of the color charts that just don't... Oh, just don't like swatching. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, that's the nice thing with the ones I've already printed. You literally just have to color in the boxes. Okay, so we're going to try some elephant gray to maybe smooth this out just a little bit. There we go. And Samantha, this is going to be like a, a warm gray. Not quite a French gray, but this is going to be like a, one of your warm grays. Probably about a 30%. And you can see it's softening out that edge just a little bit, but it's not such a bright color that it's toning down the blue at all. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Rose Gold. Welcome to our coloring family. We are here Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Today we are coloring the Flamingo page from Magical Jungle using our Arteza color pencils here. Okay, so, so yeah, Alyssa, if you join the Facebook group, it's in the files on there, it's in a PDF form, so you should be able to uh, download that. And actually, Kimberly, this is about the extent of the blending that we're gonna do. We've done enough light layers that it doesn't really need much blending. I mean, I suppose if you really wanted to, we could try to blend with white. But like I said, these are more similar to Faber-Castell's than they are Prismacolors in the sense that they don't... With Prismacolors, the pigment really moves around on the paper when you blend it. But you know what? These are new to me too. So let's take our white and let's go over it a little bit. See if it blends. It. It's going to tone down that brightness just a little bit. There we go. See, that actually did work pretty nicely. There you go. Helps to fill in some of that tooth of the paper too. And the tooth of the paper is when you are coloring, and actually here's a good example here. Okay. So you can see how there's still tiny little bits of white in between here. And that's because every paper has a texture. Imagine it as bumpy. You can't feel it, but imagine it as bumpy. So if you are coloring lightly over it, you're not gonna fill in all those little grooves and crevices of it. And that's called the tooth of the paper. Um, sketchbook paper is a really good example of that. Let me grab a sketchbook real quick. Usually got one or two floating around me here. Let's see. Here we go. Here's a sketchbook. Mm. Let's see. Okay. You can see, actually, this was the uh, coloring stuff that I used in the video earlier today. But do you see how there's all this white here? This is the tooth of the paper. So it helps give it its texture, helps hold the pigment. See, now if I were to take this white say so over this green here and go over it. I'm pressing harder, which means I'm filling in those gaps. And now you can see all of that little light stuff is gone now because we've pressed into the paper and we've pressed those little, those little bumps there. See, and now I've got green on here. So before I go and blend this, I'm just gonna wipe that off my pants and now it's clear. The only downside with using a white to blend like this is if you don't have access to singles, you're gonna blow through this white really fast. So if you have uh, Prismacolors are easier to get access to for lots of white singles. So you could use a Prismacolor to blend these if you wanted to. Oh, thanks Mia. <laughs> okay, so now we need to do the inside part here. Let's go ahead and do 
Let's see. Let's take a look at our new chart here. I'm having to get used to what all these shades actually are. So let's grab, let's see, do we want to do, let's do a green. We're going to get Jade here. Jade. And we're going to get, let's see, Emerald. And let's get Matcha. That'll be fun. Okay, so if we were to compare these colors to something... Thank you, Tyler. If you were to compare these into something, so the jade is gonna be pretty similar to the closest. It's probably gonna be a peacock green, except it's it's got that blue-green color, but it's darker. So it'll probably be closest to peacock green. Emerald's gonna be closest to probably dark green. I wouldn't say grass green because basil's pretty close to grass green. Um, so emerald's probably gonna be closest to dark green and matcha is going to be close to close to lime peel, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. No, I take it back. Matcha is close to apple green. So yeah, go ahead and give maybe like peacock, dark green, apple green. Pretty much it doesn't even have to be the exact same. Like I said, I just choose a dark color, a mid color, and a light color. Something that's, they're not going to blend so much that they'll just, you know, muddy together, but there's enough of a contrast to make them pop. All right, so we're going to grab Jade here. We're going to grab Emerald. Emerald here. Emerald. Apple green, exactly, Donna, yeah and matcha. Now, just out of curiosity, do you guys want me to still co keep comparing them to Prismacolor? Uh, or or do you feel like it's taking up too much? Because I don't mind comparing it. I just don't want you to get bored at all. I'm trying to find matcha here. Like I said, learning all of these here. So, see? And like I said, we've got a dark, a mid. We'll zoom in here so you can see the tips here. See, we got our dark, our mid, and our light. That's my basic formula for any of my pictures. I generally try to choose at least three colors, a dark color, a mid color to help blend between the light color. And you want ones that aren't so close, that they're gonna muddy together, but you want them to pop still. Yes? Okay, Jim, I'll keep doing that then. All right, so now, okay, perfect, good, I'm glad. Yeah, because I know not everybody has these. Okay, perfect, then I will keep doing that. Okay, so we're going to start with the jade. Okay, perfect. All right, awesome. Everybody's on page with that one then. Then I'll slow down too when I when I list them off too so you can get a chance to write them down or pick them out or whatever you want. Because if you all are using Prismacolors, then I'm sure there will be others that are watching this back and are also using Prismacolors. <laughs> Sounds good, Alyssa. Well, it's nice having that color chart right there because I don't necessarily need to pull out my prismas. I can just compare the two colors. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're a good pencil to use. Okay, so that was the jade. Now we're going to take the emerald. We're just coloring lightly. I have friends colors, but I love to buy new pencils and this is great for me. I never feel like I'm doing a good job with the Artezas. Oh no, they're they're great. And I think a lot of it, just like any other pencils, it's gonna take practice. And then once you get comfortable with them. Like honestly, it's been so long since I've used the Ergosofts, I'd almost feel weird going back to them. Don't worry though, we will, because I do enjoy the Ergosofts too. There are charts available online too. Oh, okay, perfect. Cheryl. 
Sorry, Prismas, Polychromos, and Ergosofts, but not Arteza. Well, Cheryl, if you do want them, there is a link in the description below with a, because I did a review for these, uh, there is a 10% off coupon using the code EmilyIllustrator1. And all of that information is in the description below and in the description below the uh, review for these also. So if you ever wanted to try them, now may be the time. <laughs> Recently bought a set of Castle Art pencils. Oh, I haven't tried the Castle Art ones. Okay, so I'm going to grab the uh, garnet again. I want to make this pop. And what is the complementary color of green? It's red, which is why the garnet kind of works, because the garnet's sort of like a, a reddish brown, which has some orange to it, which means it still works for the blue, because the complementary color of blue is, anybody? Orange! <laughs> Well, the nice thing about the Ergosofts and the Artezas also is they're they're pretty uh, cost friendly. I mean, they're both actually around the same price, and if you can find a sale on them, then that's even better. And you get a lot of pencils for it. There we go. All right, there's our blue flower. It won't work for Canada. Oh yeah, I guess I got the UK one too. I use them to supplement with my polychromos since I don't have a full set. Oh, there you go. Okay, so. That is our handy dandy little blue flower. So to recap for the blue petals we used, let's see, let's put that one there, no, that's there. We used blueberry, we used Mykonos blue, we used robin egg blue, then we used, thanks Mia, Garnet and Elephant Gray. Then for the green, we have Jade, we have Emerald, Matcha, and then we also use the Garnet to to uh, add shadow to that one. I can't get the Aerosoft to blend. Well, I think that's going to be more practice. Like I said, Donna, just lots of light layers. Lots of light layers. And if you go light, then you can go darker in the areas that you want to darken up. So if you start light... To begin then you can add more color as you go along I wish I could be there with you to, to walk you through it I also have Blick Studio Crayola some Crown Dosh Pablo and some Luminance oh very nice sure I love the Luminance I was so tempted to buy the Ergosofts when I went to Walmart they have the 36 set for under 15 oh that's good I'll have to check my Walmart interesting I absolutely love and I mean love to have a set of luminance. Oh yeah, the luminance were a were a Christmas gift and I have very sparingly uh, purchased replacements, which is why I don't use them that often because I want to last them, want them to last a while. So or self will burnish fast, so if you use a light hand, they should blend. Yeah, I don't own them, but from what I've seen, I believe they will work. They should, yeah, just light hand all the way through. Okay. Well, we sort of warmed up with a little flower. What do you say we dive into a flamingo, huh? Should we be brave? Should we just dive right into it? I think maybe so. I think that would be fun. Let's whoop, super zoom. Here we go. Let's make sure that we're nice and in focus here. Okay. I'll have to check Walmart. Now you're positive that the Ergosofts, because I know that like there are some Ergos, like um, Stedler pencils there, like they say like triangular barrel, but they're not necessarily Ergosoft. I'm curious about the castle? Okay, <laughs> only a dream for me. There you go. Okay, okay, so I was looking at the colors and funnily enough, funnily, is funnily a word? Funny enough. Uh, anyway, there is color. Look at that. It's called Flamingo. So I don't see how we can color these flamingos without that flamingo color. I think it's just meant to be. Now we're going to do these two flamingos, not the same shade as each other. We're going to do them slightly different, but for this main one, we are most definitely going to use the flamingo color. Okay. So we're going to get flamingo and I'll go over the Prismacolor ones uh, here shortly. So this flamingo is going to be our mid color, not our light color. Okay. And then I'm thinking peaches and cream. Let's see, peaches and cream. Okay. With eggplant, which is down at the bottom here. We'll double check. Okay. 
Walmart carries the regular Stedler. Okay. That's all I found out. Yes, regular Stedler pencils are... Yes, the Ergosoft are triangular shaped too. I'm pretty sure the majority of the Stedler pencils are triangle shaped. You would just have to look uh, just for the... Uh, it should say Ergosoft on it. My attempted at flamingos, they eat a lot of shrimp so they don't... So they turn pink. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, so flamingo, peaches and cream, and let's do eggplant. All right. So here are colors here. Let's take a look at Prismacolors. Okay. The packaging is very similar, Beth. Okay. So Flamingo is going to be closest to probably hot pink. Here, we'll zoom in just a little bit here so you can see. Okay. So hot pink for that mid color. We also chose peaches and cream which I think is close to peaches and cream is close to deco peach and eggplant. Hmm. I want to say Dahlia purple, but Dahlia purple is a little bit darker, but it could still, it could still work. Oh no. You know what? Here, eggplant and mulberry. Okay. So for Prismacolor, mulberry, hot pink, and deco peach and mulberry is 995 hot pink is 993 and deco peach is 1013 so those three should be pretty similar yeah triangular okay so but for those of us using arteza we're going to be using eggplant flamingo and peaches and cream they are a086 a082 and A022. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this so it's going to be a little bit easier on my hand here. So our little sideways flamingo. All right, so I am going to start with the tip of the feathers here. Page of World of Flowers, it was amazing. Oh, that's awesome, Beth Ann. You should have her join the group so we can all see uh, what she did. She could post it in the group, in the, the Facebook group. All right, so we're going to start with eggplant. I want those little tips of the wings to get kind of the purpley color. Ergos are nice. I like them quite a bit. There we go. Turn. So I'm thinking for next stream I should change the color on my fingernails. This is our oceany color. I'm thinking purple or green nail polish perhaps next. So are you able to erase Arteza easily? That is a good question, Sherry. I haven't tried it yet. Why don't we take a short break and I will grab my sketchbook from... We'll try two different erasers, okay? Might as well try it out right now while we're thinking about it. So I'll try the kneadable eraser. Let me grab my plastic eraser one second. Let's see, where did I put... Where did I put my plastic eraser? Hmm. Well, I have it around here somewhere. Okay, well, I'm not sure where my plastic eraser is, but we can try with the kneadable eraser anyway. It'll give us a little bit of an idea. There you go. Okay, so let's see. This was the little bit that we just blended with that. Let's try first on this blue, shall we? Okay, so I got the kneadable eraser. From the kneadable eraser, you can press or lift. Actually, here, let's do this. This was the thing, so let's, let's see. Is that going to lift it at all? So you got a little bit of green pigment here, so it did lift it. Let's try a rub on it. Hmm? Okay. 
Okay, so it's not rubbing off much. Let's also grab, oh, you know what? Maybe I put it in here. One sec. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, that's not it. Go figure. I never have any erasers around when I need them. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome, welcome. You're not late. A wizard arrives precisely when he needs to. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, that's a blender. Hmm. Yeah, I've got this little bit of eraser here. We could try this too. Okay, so it does a little bit. I'm gonna say that it doesn't seem like it's gonna erase too much. Normally it would pick up. So the light stuff I'm pressing, and you can see it's getting a bit lighter here so it does lighten it but I don't think it gets rid of it completely so a little bit not much let's see what do we have here yeah links are better for the Facebook group Alakazam here I am exactly crystal <laughs> so I'm always gonna think of Gandalf if somebody says that they're late nope a wizard arrives precisely when he means to <laughs> Okay. All right. So again, we are using eggplant crystal in case, uh, just a little recap. We are coloring a page from magical jungle today. We're coloring the flamingos and we are using the Arteza colored pencils, but I'm also, uh, mentioning what colors, um, equate with the Prisma colors also. Let's, let's get some, make sure we got plenty of light here. Okay, so back to the little tips here. I'm gonna drag that kind of right up here a little bit. There we go. All right, so there's that. Isn't that their job, though, to bark at nothing? <laughs> All right. We're also... Sorry if I'm making everyone dizzy. Depending on the way I'm coloring, it's just easier. Easier on the hands to... There we go. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to mention, too. I know some of you mentioned before where sometimes certain pencil may cause wrist pain. Um, I don't have to press too hard with these ones, too. So I think these would be pretty easy on the wrist. Okay. We're just coloring this eggplant right around the front of the face a little bit here okay lighter there and turn on so we'll turn slowly maybe you'll get less dizzy if I turn slowly so one of the little things you can see she's got these dots here so I like to imagine that these dots also kind of act as shadow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit here Okay. There you go. Well, and now this one is perforated. So if you take this one out of the book, then everybody should be able to turn it nice and easy. I flipped my paper too. It doesn't make me dizzy. It's just so much easier rather than have to like turn to get, you know, a nice, it just makes it so you can follow it without accidentally, you know, flipping your hand one way or the other. It's one of the reasons I always take my pages out of the book because it's just so much more comfortable to color them that way. And just as a reminder for those of you that are interested in getting uh, the Artezas, I have the links down in the bottom of the description, plus a 10% off coupon uh, off the Arteza website. We have the UK and the US links. Let's see. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Kimmy, welcome back. Okay. Now we're going to do these bottom feathers here. Okay. And I'm putting the darkest part of the color here, the places where maybe uh, there would be some shadow falling, even if it's just a little bit. 
So you can see this part of the feather is under that feather. There. I'm going to turn this one more time here. It's okay, Crystal. Sometimes chat moves fast. It's hard to keep up with it. I do my best to try and getting baby teething gel to numb your gums a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely, Miranda. Sorry, you're still not feeling well. I totally get it, Crystal. Okay, perfect, Rita. Okay, now I'm gonna try something. And you can tell me how loud this is because I will go back to the hand sharpener for this. But I also have my electric pencil sharpener that I've been using on these, but I just don't know how loud it's gonna be for chat. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna temporarily turn that down. There we go. There we go, now we'll turn the microphone back up. Okay, how bad was that? <laughs> I saw that, Sarah, yes, we're doing great tonight. Makes me want to get mine out and use them. You should, Christina. You should. Uh, it should be just the pencils, Alyssa. So the regular uh, expert color pencils as well as the uh, watercolor pencils. It's for both of those. Aw, thank you, Crystal. I love this. She says, come in your streams is a bit like coming home. Everyone is so welcoming and friendly and helpful. Aw, thanks, Crystal. Well, that is that is our goal. That makes me so happy. <laughs> You're welcome, Rita. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miranda. Okay, so these little loops here, I like to imagine they're behind it. So I'm actually gonna take this color and I'm gonna press fairly hard because that's like where it would be at its darkest point if it's behind. So I'm just gonna fill that in with the eggplant there. The watercolor ones are fun. Uh, I also, if you look at the review, I also did some watercolor ones. I created, I did the, because they're the same colors, I also did a color chart for the watercolor ones as well. So it's kind of hard to see, but I colored half of this. This left half is the pencil. This right half is where I've added water. And the nice thing is, is they don't need much water, but you can see like, for instance, on the black, once you add water, it just makes it pop just that much more. Same thing with like the garnet and all of that. And then somebody commented on my uh, YouTube saying that the regular ones are water soluble too. So I haven't tried adding water to any of those yet. Oh, Sarah says, I love it here. I've never consistently watched live streams before this one. Oh, I'm so glad, Sarah. That's the idea, Christina. Zero drama and keep it nice. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miranda. I wish there was something I could do to help. Yes, Alyssa says, sending good vibes in hopes of finding a doctor. Agreed. Lots of good vibes to you, Miranda. What color palette or schemes do you all gravitate towards? Let's see, Stephanie, did I miss you? If I missed you, I'm sorry. Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> uh, I tend to do a lot of blues, but I try to force myself out of my comfort zone for sure. And actually, Stephanie, if you go to our Facebook group, I think I did, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I posted a, a, uh, a picture of a bunch of Prismacolor color palettes that I really enjoy that I've put together over the years. So if you need some ideas for color palettes, I've got a document in there that has a bunch of um, color palettes for you. Some of my favorite combinations for colors. I'm not sure if that's legal in the UK yet, Jim. 
Maybe it is. I'm not sure about the legality of those, but I know the CBD oil, CBD oil is, is definitely new. Is it possible, Donna, that you're in top chat? I know that there's a way it gets filtered. Let's see. There we go. There's live chat. Yeah, you can check live chat or top chat. And that should make sure that you can see everything. All right. So now we're going to use Flamingo, which was also, um, oh, don't worry, Samantha. Peacock blue and Dahlia purple yet? I haven't, Sarah. Oh, you know what a third color with that would be pretty is um, uh, uh, sky blue light. That would be real pretty, Sarah. Uh, so I'm going to use Flamingo, and that was uh, in, in uh, Prismacolors, that was hot pink. Okay, so now we're going to add... Let's see, which song is this? I think... I think this one's too quiet. I need to make a note of it. This is okay. I gotta remember to take that one off. I think that one's too too low, too quiet. There we go. That's happier. There we go. All right. So we got our flamingo color here, and I'm just lightly coloring in here, kind of going on top of the eggplant a little bit. go and for those of you that are in the UK or or Europe or hours that are a little bit off from this I do hope and plan to do some daytime streams here which will make it much more agreeable time I know like Scotland is six hours ahead and you know it just progresses from there so um, my goal is to do some maybe morning streams so that it'll fall under some more agreeable times for everybody and we're just using that uh, flamingo color right now. Like literally, it's called flamingo. <laughs> Sounds good, Mia. Just dragging that up onto the top of the feathers a little bit. There we go. So you can see I've kind of drawn it around it. Oh, yes. Yeah, somebody named them. Said they couldn't be here. What did they say their names were? Did anybody see that message on uh, in Facebook? She picked out names for them. I cannot remember. Yes, they have been named. I'm trying to remember... There you go, yes. Okay, we'll name one of them Flossie. Phil the Fabulous Flamingo. There you go, Flossie and Phil. Okay, so we have Phil and Flossie. There you go. Could be male. Why not? <laughs> I'm not going to assume gender. It's 2019. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna use, there are two, there we go. Boop, boop. They're together, the flamingo soulmates. All right, so peaches and cream. Okay. So now we're gonna fill in, and again, this was that deco peach in Prismacolor. Now we're gonna fill in the space here, and I'm just coloring lightly, I'm not pressing too hard. Love bird flamingos, there we go. Yeah, that's coming out real nice. I like that. I'm kind of coloring over everything here. Sort of blends it all together. There we go. Nice color in there. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I think that turned out real well. 
Emily, you have an amazing gallery for color. The colors you choose always seem to blend so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much. I love color. Color of any kind. That's that's my thing. <laughs> All right, so I feel like I want to keep using Flamingo, but we're not going to use this dark color here. I'm going to see, and then that's the fun part is you come here and the colors are picked for you. So all you have to do is pick them out and lay them on paper. Uh, say hi to George from the coloring game. There you go. Yeah. Hi, George. <laughs> all right. So we're going to start with Flamingo. So in this case, Flamingo is going to be our dark color. So we want to choose some colors that are lighter than that. So let's go with Flamingo, Pink Macaroon, which is... Here we go, pink macaroon. And we're gonna grab up here, ivory. Okay, let's see. Ivory, 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 ivory. Like I said, I'm still kind of learning where all my colors are at. Okay, so in Prismacolor, hi Nick. Welcome, welcome. You all are amazing. Look at that, 41 concurrent viewers. I love you all so much, you're amazing. Okay, so we are going to use the Flamingo, which again is similar to the hot pink. And then we're going to use Pink Macaroon, which is here. And that I think is going to be similar to think either blush pink or deco pink. I would say if you're doing this, go with deco pink. Do hot pink, deco pink, and cream. I think those are the colors you should go with for Prismacolor. So if you're using Prismacolor, use hot pink, deco pink, and cream. Those are a good combination. All right, but for us using Arteza, we are gonna use Flamingo, Pink Macaroon, and Ivory. Every time she says, welcome, welcome, it makes me think of the bear in the big blue house. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this, these are the colors we're going to use here. Yep. Fill in Flossie. Oh, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Everybody get a cheer and chat for Sarah for her five. Thank you so much. You all are so wonderful tonight. Okay, so we're gonna use that flamingo or in the Prismacolor case, hot pink. There we go. Flamingo here. Flamingo there. Seriously, you all are so amazing. Not that donations are required by any means, but it is much appreciated. It helps keep the stream going and, and makes it so I can keep doing what I'm doing. So whenever you do that, just know I appreciate that so much. There we go. We got our flamingo color here. And I'm pressing just a little bit harder because I want to get that, that pink in those crevices there. Okay, we're going to add. Oh, and Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. Oh my goodness. Y'all are amazing tonight. Oh, you hear that? I said, y'all, oh my goodness, I've been in Texas too long, too long. <laughs> Can we get some cheers in the chat for Donna? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all are so wonderful. All right, so there's that. Oh, thank you, Sarah. You guys are just making my night. There we go. A little darker in the crevices there between the feathers. There we go. Aw, oh, thank you, Kimmy. I say y'all all the time. Oh man, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it so hard. <laughs> We've been in Texas for gosh, how long now? We moved here in 2011, 2019. 
Is the stream laggy or is it your internet, Mia? Because I'm not seeing any drop frames. All right, now we're going to take the pink macaroon. Emily, when we close out tonight, you need to end with, y'all come back now, you hear? I'll see. We'll see, Crystal. <laughs> I'm fighting against the, uh, the, the Texas nature that has, that has been ingrown in me since we've been, since we've moved here. I'm a Pacific Northwestern kind of, kind of gal. <laughs> there we go. We're just kind of outlining with the pink macaroon here. It is. It's very catchy. You know, it's funny because when I first moved down here, you know, all my life I lived in the Pacific Northwest and, and we'll all say he all in response. There you go. Uh, but when I first moved down here, I just got a job, any job that was here, worked at the mall. And there was this girl that I worked with and she, she grew up in, you know, heart of Texas. Like, you know, where, where I'm at right now, it's, it's, similar in lifestyle to Austin. It's, it's not, you know, super, super thick accents everywhere. There's a lot of people from all over the place, but she was from an area in Texas that was just thick Texas accents, the cowboy hats, the cowboy boots. I mean, you name it, it was all of it. And, uh, and I remember we were talking and she said something about how I had an accent. And I mean, she had the thickest Texas, Texas accent you've ever heard. And I'm just like, what do you mean I have an accent? Apparently the way I say my A's are a little harsher, like just, I guess, little things. Apparently I had a quote unquote Northern accent, which I just found hilarious because obviously I'm not used to that. I'm not usually the one with the accent. Now, granted, you know, if I go overseas, then of course I'm the one with, you know, the American accent, but it was just so funny that she was commenting on my accent when she just had this thick, thick Texas straw. Uh, this by the way is the ivory, which in your case, Prismacolor users would be cream. But I just found it so funny because I had never really thought of myself as having an accent. You know, like you can tell, you know, those that are from Boston, you know, they, they say things, you know, there's, there's just a few different tweaks. But I guess I had never thought of myself as having one. But I guess, I mean, if you were to Northern American accent, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Sarah says, I'm from Boston. I sound nothing like it because I haven't lived there in over 10 years. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yes, Mia. I agree. I love the Pacific Northwest. There you go. Okay, so for me, this ivory is a little too yellow. I'm going to take my white and I'm gonna see if I can tone it down a little bit. And you can do the same thing if, you're, if your cream is a little too, too much, if you're using Prismacolor. Let's do a little, and it's helping to blend it just a bit too. There we go. Got some nice pinky colors. Okay, so now for these feathers that are on his back, because what we do here, this curly one and these feathers that are across his back, we're going to do the same for these ones. I'm trying to see in the country as country can be. I'm proud of it. There you go, Vip Van. When I finished my, when I visited my family last week, my sister said I sounded wicked weird. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> they say Michigan people have an accent. I love California. She said I have an accent. Yeah, That's so funny. It's just like, I guess when you are in, you know, when you are, uh, what's the word? Basically when you are, you know, when you grow, when, when you, when you were growing up, you know, wherever you were at, everybody there talks the same. So it doesn't seem like an accent until you leave the area in which you're from. And then, you know, then it's, you're more likely to hear the differences in speech. I just find it interesting that even just like, you know, it's, it's one thing to go to a different country. But, but, the, but for the fact that there are so many different states just in the U.S. alone that have different accents, like that's just, that's, it's kind of cool. Proud Southern Belle. There you go, Crystal. So, okay, so this here, this little curly feather and these feathers here and this little piece here are all going to be the same color. I didn't realize how fast you color until I do a side by side or maybe I just color slow. Oh, nonsense. No, I probably have picked up speed a little bit. Uh, whenever I was coloring before and in color groups before I started doing a lot of social media stuff, you know, I was busting out quite a few pictures a week and everybody was just like, you color so fast. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I've been up north a few times with South. The South has always been home. Yeah, we've been here for a while. My kids don't know any different. We talked about, you know, moving with them before. And my youngest, you know, he's, he's pretty little and he was not thrilled with the idea 
of living somewhere else just because this is all he's known. But, you know, he'll, he'll get used to it whenever we go, wherever we're going to go. Okay, so we're going to do slightly different colors for those top feathers. We are going to do, I think, purple iris. I think that, let's see. Crimson. Purple iris. Crimson. And, oh, nonsense. You color at your, at your just like, you know, uh, you know, the, the thing with uh, Gandalf, you know. Wizard is never late. He rides precisely when he means to. You're never slow. You color precisely when you mean to. I should, that, could, that, sh that should be like a little, we should add quotes to the stream and be like, you never color slow, you color precisely when you mean to. It's exactly what it is. It's meaningful and it's exactly the way it's meant to be. I'm turning all pencils used upside down in my pencil case so I know what to use in coloring parts here and there. There you go. Yeah, I, I feel bad too because the last two octopus pages, I have not updated the colors yet. Mm -hmm. I have them literally sitting here on my desk, divided how I need to, and I just, I haven't done it yet. So I need to do that still. My new puppy is named after Mariah Carey. Mimi, oh, that's cute. Uh, yeah, so let's do purple iris, crimson, and let's use pink macaroon again, okay? So let's grab that first before I forget. Okay, so we are gonna get purple iris, purple iris, crimson, go, crimson, and we'll use pink macaron again. She's a little diva. Oh. <laughs> okay, so pink macaron. Let's see. Did I say pink macaron? Yeah, pink macaron. Okay, so if we're going to compare these to a Prismacolor, let's take a look here. All right, so purple iris, I think is going to be most similar to Dahlia purple. Okay. Crimson, I have a feeling it's going to be close to Carmine. Let's see, Crimson. In Prismacolors, Crisma, let's see, Crimson is close to Prismacolors Magenta. And that could still work too, those colors together. And then Pink Macaroon is Deco Pink. Okay, so for you Prismacolor users, the equivalent for you is going to be Dahlia Purple, Magenta, and Deco Pink. Again, so the numbers are going to be 1009 Dahlia, 930 Magenta, and 1014 Deco Pink. Okay. So we're going to use Purple Iris. So for those of us using Arteza, we're going to do Purple Iris A087, Crimson A078, and pink macaroon a083 oh samantha don't give up no my only thing is too is i'm afraid that if i were to slow down uh, the it might lose pace a little bit but see that's the nice thing about it being a video is that you'll be able to go back and rewatch it if you want to okay so we have purple iris Yeah, no need to give up, Samantha. Okay. Just color one section at a time. I only got one whole petal done, a few feathers. There you go, Samantha. See what, what Donna said. Although Donna, it's funny, I've been going through Doctor Who again lately. And I just finished up with the 10th Doctor, which of course was so sad, but his most recent companion was Donna Noble. So whenever I say Donna, her face pops in now. Granted, it's spelled differently, but just because, you know, he's been yelling for Donna for the last uh, season or so, but oh man, it was heart-wrenching. I re-watched that episode today and it was just like, ah. Uh. I think that's why I had such a hard time accepting Matt Smith because I just love David Tennant's character so much and then, you know, he just gets replaced. <laughs> Sorry, back on Doctor Who again. But I was watching it today, so I was just, it's fresh in my mind. There we go. We're coloring kind of lightly because it is a darker color. You don't want to overpower it too much. I'm still on season one. <laughs> no worries, Kimmy. 
Oh no, then spoilers, spoilers. I don't know, I kind of feel like the older Doctor Who, it's not much of a spoiler that we know that he moves on to uh, other Doctors here, but... Oh man, that last episode just breaks my heart. Ugh, you don't need to keep pacing Samantha. I'm just here for the company because my Ritizos aren't here yet. There you go, Sarah. Then I'll have a lot of catching up to do. Stranger Things keeps getting recommended. Me too, I keep seeing it ever. I tried watching it a little bit, but I couldn't get into it. Maybe I need to give it another chance. Everybody seems to really enjoy it. I guess it was kind of the same way with Doctor Who when I first watched it. You know, I watched the first couple episodes and I thought it was kind of cheesy. So I was like, meh. Then I revisited it like a year later and well, now I absolutely love it. Uh, Crystal, we are using Purple Iris and the equivalent for Prismacolor is going to be Dahlia Purple. The Dr. Donna, exactly. The Dr. Donna. Oh, yep, that last episode just breaks my heart. I was just, I'm not ready for Matt Smith yet. I'm not. Oh, man. He, he grows on you. He does. But there was never a doctor I was more saddened by leaving than I was David Tennant. I'm not as familiar with my Ortiz as Prisma yet. When I pick up a Prisma, I usually know which color it is without even looking. Oh, right there with you, Crystal. Yeah, I, I'm having to get used to this because, like, that's why I told myself I have to make a color chart. Uh, I have to make a color chart before tonight's stream because otherwise I wasn't going to have a clue what to use just because this is brand new. I mean, this is only the second picture that I did with it, and it took me a while to pick out the colors for the butterfly because I was just like, oh man, I have no idea what colors go together yet. Like I didn't even swatch them out before I started coloring with that. I might've made some different color choices, but yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna use crimson, which for you Prismacolor users, what did I say? Uh, magenta, I think. Yeah, magenta is the color closest to it. Welcome back, Miranda. I used to be called a uh, a plant doctor for houseplants like 40 years ago. Oh, there you go. So you are the Dr. Donna. <laughs> we are talking about David Tennant, Flaws, or Miranda. I was, I was going through the series again, and today I watched the episode where he left, and I was just like, eh, I don't want him to leave yet. You know, when he says that, I don't want to go. It's like, I don't want you to go either. <laughs> Let's see, I, I actually should be working on my jewelry for an art show I have soon. This is just so fun to watch right now. No worries, Samantha. Come on, you can, you can work tomorrow. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. I watched the first two seasons of Stranger Things, but haven't started three yet. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Yeah, maybe I should give it. I mean, I'm always looking for something new to watch, and I can always try it again, and if I don't like it, I can just turn it off. Nothing says I have to watch it, but, you know, maybe go into watching it with a bit more of an open mind. Perhaps. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Ariane. I'm re-watching season two, Kimmy, as a refresher because I kind of forgot what happens. It was heartbreaking. I fancied him at the time. I'm like, oh, I, f I still fancy him, Miranda. Oh, my gosh. If I met David Tennant in real life, I don't know what I would do. Oh my goodness. I would probably just be like, you know, cause whenever you meet a celebrity, you don't ever, you always want, you don't want to be that fan. You know, you always want to keep your cool, make it so they're not like totally turned off by the fact that you're absolutely nuts about them. You know, you just want to keep your cool. But honestly, I would probably be so flabbergasted. I would not know what to say with him. I'd be like, uh, uh, hello, <laughs> can I have a picture please? And then my life would be at peace. Uh, using pink macaroon, by the way, uh, which is deco pink for you Prismacolor users. Oh my goodness, yeah. I would love to meet him. Let's see. People, famous people I would love to meet. David Tennant, obviously. Uh, okay, this one is probably not one that, you, that really anybody here knows because he's a um, online uh, personality. He's an online gamer. Uh, his name is Dr. Lupo. He plays a lot of games anyway. He's a very cool guy. I would love to meet him. Um, the Rock. I'd like to meet The Rock. Tom Hanks. Oh, oh, I know, right, Sarah? Oh, that Scottish accent for sure. Yeah, Tom Hanks for sure. I would love to meet Tom Hanks. That man is brilliant. I mean, who else are you going to want to watch for an hour and a half? Somebody alone on the island. I, I mean, you know, or alone on a island. Tom Hanks is just absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's see. So we have the body there. Let's color this little tuft down here. We're going to color it the same colors we used at the beginning, which was eggplant, flamingo, and hot pink. Okay. Hugh Laurie. Oh, Hugh Laurie would be cool. Let's see. 
Also, uh, the guy who played Spike from Buffy. Funny thing is that uh, the guy who played Spike, he actually, so he has an English accent on the show, but in reality, he's American, and he is one of the few people that have ever had a fake, like, English accent and has actually fooled me. Like, most of the time, it's pretty obvious and it's pretty painful when somebody's, you know, using a fake accent, but it's just like, I didn't know that he was American until, like, after the show was over. Wilson, you're okay! Exactly! Oh, he is just... He is awesome. Let's see, who else would I want to meet? Keanu Reeves. He is so cool. Apparently he's the internet's boyfriend right now. But he's super down to earth. Keanu Reeves is really cool. Let's see, who else? Who are some of my other favorite shows? That was the Flamingo, by the way, and now I'm using the uh, Pink Macaroon. Trying to think who else. I think Jack Black would be kind of funny to me. I think he'd be entertaining for sure. Um, let's see who else. Hmm. Trying to think. Let's see. Is that light too bright? Oh no, that is. It was just changing a little bit. Let's see. What is that little? Square popping up for. One sec. I'm going to check my camera here. There we go. Turn that off. The color is a little bit off. One second. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, let the stream catch up here. I had my little focus thing not unclicked on the show. There we go. Oh, Milo Ventimiglia, yes, yes, from Gilmore Girls, right there with you, Mia, definitely. Jimmy Fallon, yeah, Crystal, I got it fixed. There's a, so on the program that I use for my camera, there's just this one little button that I have to click off, and it's like, it's facial recognition, so what that little square was, was, was my camera trying to find a face to focus on, <laughs> but it's fixed now, it's fixed. Oh, uh, 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 Ian McKellen. He'd be really cool to meet. And Patrick Stewart. But that's also because Star Trek fan. So. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's do. Okay. We're going to take the eggplant again. Okay. Lower this again. Maybe get that light just a little bit better. We're going to color just a little bit darker here. Because we're going to do pink on this little nose piece, too. But we're going, we're pressing a little bit darker. Okay, and then lighter. We're just going to use two colors here, okay? Ryan Reynolds. I can see Ryan Reynolds. And then we're going to use pink macaron. Oh. One of the Hemsworth brothers. Not the one that's dating Miley Cyrus, but the one that played Thor. I think he'd be fun to meet. Just seems so funny. I don't know. And the new uh, Avengers movie is pretty hilarious. Um, okay, so we're going to do... Now, let's see. Flamingo's legs. My instinct was like kind of a light orangey one. But flamingo legs... Are they black? Let's look up what a flamingo looks like, okay? Flamingo. Okay, images. Let's see. Now Flamingo's legs are actually fairly pink too. And then they've got that little black tip on the nose. Okay. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Jason Momoa, oh yes, Jason Momoa, right there with you. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So for this here, we're going to color this, you know, kind of not black completely, but like a dark, dark blue. Okay, we're going to color this kind of a light orangey cream color. And then the legs are going to be a pinky color, maybe not super bright pink, but maybe like a, a like a yellowish pink. So we'll get there. So he grew up in Iowa and still seems very down to earth. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So let's, let's do the beak first, okay? So we are going to take a look at our colors here, our darker ones down here, okay? 
So I think I'm going to grab charcoal, charcoal, blueberry, and space gray, which is over here, sorry, and space gray, okay? So we're going to grab. All right, sounds good. Jordan and Emma, you have a great night. Thanks for hanging out and coloring with me. I enjoyed having you here. Ryan is Canadian, okay. Have a good night, Jordan and Emma. All right, let's see. Charcoal. Let me say charcoal and blueberry. And space gray. There we go, space gray. All right, those are gonna be equivalent to All right, let's see, let's zoom out just a bit. All right, so charcoal is here. It's gonna be similar to, for those using Prismacolors, use, it's, it's not super similar to the charcoal, but I think it would be a better choice. Use the cool gray 90% down here. All right, so for you using Prismacolors, do a cool gray 90%. Then we're gonna use the blueberry. So, hitting that cord. What did I say was blueberry similar to? Go ahead and use the ultramarine. So use the 90% cool gray, ultramarine, and 30% cool gray. So 90% cool gray, 30% cool gray, and ultramarine for those of you using Prismacolors. Have blueberries with toasted marshmallow whipped cream. You and that toasted, mar toasted marshmallow whipped cream. That is so tasty and I am so jealous. <laughs> and I know it's a small space to fit three colors in, but it'll work. All right. So on the very tip, we're going to use the charcoal. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to use blueberry. Just like so. Okay. Then we're gonna use the space gray. I know, right? It sounds so good. I love my toasted marshmallow. I see, I'm just jealous. That's all Mia. <laughs> I need to get some toasted marshmallow whip, whipped cream. All right, there we go. Just using three colors gives it a bit more depth. That's all. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab Eating pizza now. You sound like you're having a good dinner. All right, so we're gonna use the pink macaron, which was deco pink, peaches and cream, which I think was deco peach, and ivory, which I think was cream. Those are the alternative colors for Prismacolor. So I don't know much about it, Mia, but I feel like if you're in this much pain, I think anything, nothing could be too strong for you, but I'm not gonna promote one thing or the other. Okay, so let's see, pink macaron. Okay, then the peaches and cream. In fact, because, actually I'm gonna say guys because that is potentially illegal in some states. Let's actually keep that particular uh, item out of chat only because I don't want to get in trouble. So maybe you guys could do a private message with that just because since it is illegal in some states, um, I don't want to get in trouble with that. So let's, let's keep that uh, out of chat there if you don't mind. Okay, so for that bottom part of the beak, we did hot pink, peaches and cream, and ivory. Okay, so for the legs now, let's grab a different color pink. Okay. We haven't used plum yet. Let's use plum. Okay. All right, so there's plum. 
And we're going to use, let's see, let's use plum and pink macaron and let's see, let's do peaches and cream. Yeah, I haven't heard a lot of good things about Create Space paper. Okay, so plum is similar to, let's see, plum is similar to, let's take a look here. Plum is this one here. Plum could actually, oh, process red. Plum is pretty close to process red, I think. There you go. Thanks, ladies. Okay. All right. So plum is close to process red. And then you have your pink macaroon and your peaches and cream, which were close to deco peach and hot pink. So we're going to take the plum here and we're going to color it where the shadow would normally be. Okay. There we go. She puts down a layer of color pencil and then goes over it with marker to prevent the marker from bleeding through. Oh, I've never heard of that. I have heard about laying down a light layer of color, or uh, not light layer, but like laying down a layer of markers and then going over it with pencil. Nice little pink legs. There we go. In this darker area, I'm just filling in with the pink all together. There we go. All right. Now we're going to take the just a little bit. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. We're going to take a little bit of the pink macaroon. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then lastly, we're going to use the peaches and cream. We're going to kind of go over the whole thing to make his legs just slightly more orangey then pink. There we go. And this could be one of those ones, if you wanted to, you could go over it with white a little bit to tone it down. Hi, Sabrina. Welcome, welcome. Okay, and we're going to blend with the white just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I worry about that too, Crystal. All right, so there is Phil the Flamingo in his pinky glory. Here we go. All right, maybe we'll save the next Flamingo for another night. Let's move on to, let's do something a little bit different now since we've we're going to do um, a different, like probably slightly different shades for the other flamingo. So why don't we start with some leaves? We've done a flower. We've done a flamingo. Let's do some leaves now. Let's see. I'll check that real quick. Okay. So let's do this little fella right here. Okay. 
Oh, he hasn't completely dressed. <laughs> Tried to watch the stream on my phone, then fell asleep. Oh, Sabrina. He is a handsome fella, isn't he? All right, so we're going to do these leaves here. All right, so let's do, we get some greens out now. Try some greens maybe we haven't tried yet. Is there anything similar to pale sage in the Artezas? Um, well, let's take a look here. Probably, hmm. Well, the lighter greens are all a little too bright. If I had to choose anything out of these greens that are similar to pale sage, probably, well, but see, pear is a little bit more yellow. Pear is more similar to like lime peel. If I had to choose, because pale sage too is a little bit of a cooler green. Maybe the spring green, but still that's a little bit too bright. So, yeah, yeah, because pear, you can see here, here's pale sage and here's pear. It's a little bit too of an orangey green. So, yeah, that's tough. There's not, a pale sage is a little off. But like lime, what they have for lime, is like yellow chartreuse. Absinthe green is probably close to chartreuse. Pear is close to lime peel. Spring green and spring green for both of them are pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, the greens uh, for our teas are a little too bright to mind a match for pale sage. Unfortunately. Okay. So let's see. Let's grab. Let's do forest green. Forest green. Oh, that'll be a fun combination. Okay. We're going to do forest green. And then, well, maybe not. Let me do, let's see, for our first leaves, the one above pear, yeah, that's absinthe green. That's what I was actually thinking there, Donna, fern. Okay, let's do fern. Let's do use the absinthe green and basil. Basil, basil, tomato, tomato. Okay, so if we're gonna use fern, I'm gonna get them out first before I forget. Okay, so fern, basil, sure got the right one here. That's hint, basil, here we go, basil, and absinthe green. Okay, we're gonna use these three colors for the first one. Okay, and these are, oh yes, bright colors are good, bright colors are fun. Okay, um, colors that are similar. So fern, I would say is similar to Kelly green. Okay, so fern is the equivalent to Kelly green, PC 1096 and fern is A092. And then basil is similar to grass green. Yeah, grass green. So grass green is PC 909, basil is A093. And absinthe green is pretty similar to spring green. It's probably the closest one I'm find. Uh, absinthe green is a little bit more yellowy, so you could always blend like a little bit of yellow on top of it, but that's the closest, I think. So uh, Kelly green, grass green. Although if you're gonna do this, probably a better blend of colors if you're gonna use those three. Okay, so for Prismacolor users, go with, actually go with Prussian green. So Prussian green, PC 109, grass green, PC 909, and spring green PC 913. Cause although they match, it's all about which colors go well together. Okay. So Prussian green, grass green, and spring green for you Prismacolor users. For the Arteza users, we have fern, basil, and absinthe green. There we go. I'll have to make note of these colors and get out my Artezas. I might do a full on side by side color comparison with all the family colors. Oh, that'll be good idea, Crystal. That'd be great. Stephanie says, cool, I have to check it out. Thanks. I go to the vintage nature space pastel neon and sometimes I'm influenced by movies, music, videos. There you go. Can't believe there's still one blockbuster left in the US. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah, blockbuster's not around much. 
Okay, so let's zoom on in again. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the fern. Okay. And we are going to color right up along this middle here, okay? Nice solid line all the way up to the top, okay? That's how we're going to start out. Oh, you saw it on Ellen? That's funny. Okay, then we're going to start at the base of each leaf just like this. I'm making a little U shape down on the bottom and fading out lightly so that we can blend in the other colors, okay? Oh, they did used to be everywhere. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn down my volume for a sec while I use the electric pencil sharpener. I don't I just didn't want to blow out any ears there. Not quite sure how loud it would be in translation on, on stream there. Okay. There we go. Kind of making that U shape a little bit, following the shape of the plant. I don't think as many people even use I feel like you should meet Ellen. That would be awesome. There you go. We'll put her on my list of people to meet. Can you imagine if I got to go on Ellen? Just talk about coloring. There we go. If my coloring channel ever goes viral, we'll all campaign to have me on Ellen. Does that sound good? I'd be cool with that. I could go on Ellen. <laughs> have a good night, Philip. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will be back here Monday night. And it's sort of a standing rule too, that if I decide to do an impromptu weekend stream, I probably won't this weekend because it's been a super busy week. But if I, if I do decide to do one, then um, I will let you all know at least a couple hours ahead of time. And whenever we do do our next weekend stream, we're gonna do that side-by-side -side comparing of the watercolor, ink tent, the Derwent ink tents and the Derwent watercolors on um, that artist edition of Enchanted Forest. Good night, Rita. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> I feel like Ellen and I could dance on stage. I could rock that. Yeah, we just need to go viral. All right, so we need something to happen on stream. Let's just get a bunch of kittens. We'll get a bunch of kittens, and we'll have kittens walking around the desk while I color. That'll that'll go viral, right? I'll be known for the lady that colors with the kittens on her desk. <laughs> that'll be my, my shtick. Lots of kittens. realize I was out of frame. Sorry about that. Puppies and kittens. There you go. <laughs> and can you imagine going on Ellen? That would be so cool. Oh, you don't have to, Donna, because we're not going to color a full page at, at all, Donna. Uh, we're only doing um, that artist edition because that's what a lot of people had. And so when we do it, we're not coloring a full page. It's literally just going to be a comparison. It's, it'll probably be something more to watch than color along. Just because I happen to have the Derwent watercolors and I happen to have the Derwent ink tents, it'll literally be just, you know, a couple hours. We're going to try those out and we'll just chat and stuff. So you wouldn't need to worry about getting it. If anything, you can just, you can just watch and, and and hang out and just you know learn if you want to and I only chose the artist editions because they're the ones that are most compatible with using watercolors so yeah no worries about getting a new book that'll just be something kind of for fun on the weekend to watch if you're looking for something to do that's all ah 
Ah, gross, Crystal. <laughs> gross. Oh, we'll get regular potty breaks for all of them. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to use basil. Okay, we're going to do more light layers. Just like so. The blocks. I haven't tried the blocks. And I'm just coloring lightly here. I'm not pressing too hard. So then the idea is we're going to get that bright green just right on the tip of the leaves and we'll make it pop. I'm going to turn this a little bit. It happens, Crystal. It happens. If I'm perfectly honest, that review that I shot, oh man, I was all over the place. I had to redo a bunch of stuff just because I was getting, it's one thing to do it live, but I, you know, I knew what I wanted to say because I had been thinking about the whole time I'd been coloring the butterfly page. Uh, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I like this about the pencils. I like that. You know, I can compare them to this kind of thing. So I had everything in my head I wanted to say, but when it came time to film, I was just like, got all tongue twisted and everything. So yeah, I, I know how you feel. Cause like, if you ever hear me stutter on here, it's, or, you know, stop or, or, you know, backtrack like I am now. Um, I always, uh, it's just, it's cause it's me like taking time to think about what it is I'm going to say next. And then sometimes I overthink it. So you are not alone by any means. Plus, I'm partially distracted because my cat's under my desk and she's like rubbing on my foot because she wants her late night snack. But it is not time for her late night snack yet. <laughs> and again, we're using the basil right now. To download Wonder Book. Yeah, I did that with the Wonder Book one. I haven't um, practiced drawing any of the flowers. I'm kind of excitedly waiting for the actual book, too. I oh, want the Albrechter watercolor pencils. I haven't tried those. I could never, ever do live streams. <laughs> I can't even record a video. I will say, Crystal, it's, it's taken some time to build up to live streams. I mean, I only ever started doing, like, little little videos on Instagram because people were asking me how I was coloring it. So, you know, I do short little, you know, sped up. Uh, we're using the absinthe green now, by the way. I do short little sped up videos on Instagram and everything. And then people kept telling me they wanted to see the full length versions and they wanted it to slow down because they wanted to see how to do it. And I have never really thought about, you know, them watching me to learn. I just kind of did it for fun. You know, like it's kind of fun to, you know, like when you watch, you know, cakes being decorated, you know, it's just like, oh, it's just a page being colored. But I found this whole range of, of people that wanted to actually see it. So I was like, okay. So then I built up to doing, you know, and it took me a while to figure out the right, you know, technical stuff for it, you know, build up to, to actually doing videos. And then I've been watching, um, Twitch and they stream video games. And I was like, well, dang, man, if they can stream video games, surely I can figure out, you know, how to set this all up to stream the coloring pages. And, you know, it's great because then I can interact with you and it's much more personable and all of that. It just seemed to make sense. So definitely had to work up to it. You just meant that they've been on my Amazon wish list. Oh, yeah, the, the watercolor ones. I have both full sets. I have a day of stage fright. Oh, you know, you get, you get comfortable with it. You do, for sure. Because, I mean, I talk to you, you know, I talk to all of you like like you're my friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do, you know, double check sometimes about things I say so I don't sound too silly. But, you know, yeah, you just, you know, everyone's my friend. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We're going to take the fern again. And now what we're going to do is... We're going to go on the side just a little bit. You know, I kind of take, um, oh, I'm on TV. <laughs> I could deal with the te tech stuff, just not talking to people. You know, my, my daughter sort of, and my son too, they kind of inspire me in that sense that they're young enough that they're at that age where 
as long as you are a small person, you know, a, a small a small kiddo that is around, you know, seems like they might be in their general age range, they are automatically best friends. They could be somebody they've never met, but if they happen to be at the same park and they are the same size and they, you know, they, they're like, hey, can you be my friend? And then they're sad when they leave that, you know, that person when they leave park. Odds are they're never going to see that kid again, but they just had the time of their life with a child they've never met. The only thing they have in common is that they are both children. And it's like, I was talking to some other moms one day and it's just like, you know, at what age do we lose that sort of friendliness with, you know, our fellow, our fellow people here? I mean, we all have a lot of the same things in common. We all have a lot of the same desires. You know, we, we want to be loved. We want to have friends. We want to live. We want to laugh. All of that. You know, nobody, nobody wants to be miserable. Nobody, you know, wants to be upset or, you know, whatever else. And so it's like at some point from childhood to adulthood, we, we lost that ability to just be friends, even if it's just a stranger. Now, you know, I know that there's not good people in the world. And so you do need, you can't just assume everybody's going to be nice. But if you go into something, you know, wanting to be someone's friend, wanting to be kind, wanting to help that person, I mean... You meet somebody who's super, super nice. Think about it. Do you have a hard time being mean to that person or being angry with that person if that person is nothing but nice to you? It's just, I've always said that there's just, there's not enough empathy in the world. And if there was more empathy, you could sympathize more with what a person is going through or what they're thinking. And you naturally will get along with them. The world would be a much happier place if, forgive the cliche talk, but you know, if we all just got along, think of how happy everybody would be if everybody was friends, if everybody, you know, took, took after, you know, copied what children do, you know, you're like, you're a person, you're my friend, you know? So it's just like, okay, you're an adult, you struggle with adult things, just like I struggle with adult things. We could be friends, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Aw, thank you, Crystal, we love you too. <laughs> Absinthe green. Yeah, isn't it nice? It kind of pops. Exactly. You're very versatile. Yep. Yep. Used to make random friends as a kid. It's just, it was so easy. You can also shave some off like what Emily did with the pastels and add water. Oh, there you go. Exactly. It's no certain ages, really. It sort of depends on when they start having a lot of bad experiences in general from people. That is true, Loretta. That's, that's very true. But now just imagine if all those bad people suddenly started being good people. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? I know they always say, you know, if you had one wish, you'd wish for world peace. But I mean, just literally, if every person in the world was suddenly just like, I want to be nice to that person, you know, it is a trust issue for sure, Kelly, most definitely. And I know that like the world is so much more deep than just why can't we all be friends? But, you know, I, I, I take that form that, you know, like if I've got a friend that's going through a hard time, I'm trying to think of what can I do? to make her life easier versus, you know, like, all right, well, I'm just going to, you know, stay away from that until that's better. It's like, no, I want to make things better, you know? Okay, let's see. Let's do these ones here next. I agree with you, Emily. I just have massive social anxiety. It's usually unfounded, but I'm also, I'm almost phobic when it comes to talking in front of people. I get that. I do get that. I, I was terrified of speaking in front of people. Um, when I was in high school and everything, I was always shaking. I remember one time I got a solo in choir. Oh my goodness, I swear I was having a seizure on stage because I was so nervous. I was shaking so much. I think what helped get me out of my shell a little bit with speaking in front of people is I used to work at a place where I had to give tours and uh, I just had to, you know, deal with it because that was, that was the job. And I think that definitely helped and just, you know, I also, I will say that, I also have an outgoing personality, so <laughs> that definitely helps. Me and my mother are two peas in a pod. We're both very outgoing. Aw, thank you, Donna. Exactly, Mia. Emily for Congress. There you go. That'll be my platform. Can't we all just get along? I know nothing about tall politics, but I'd just like us all to be friends. That'll work, right? <laughs> That is true, Donna. That is true. And I think some people, they don't know what to do in that situation, you know? And sometimes, honestly, they just need space. You know, you can't, you can't fix every problem. And so sometimes it's just as simple as being there for them and, you know, listening to them talk if they're having a hard time. You know what I mean? Aw, thank you, Crystal. Oh, okay. All right. No more tears. No more tears. 
I was thinking about that actually. Yeah, I was thinking we would go with some of these warmer ones we haven't used yet. So we could do like moss and pear and lime. Emily for present. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's grab moss. And let's see, is this pear? Yeah, pear. And did I already pull out lime? Let's see, lime, 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 lime. Oh no, here it is, here it is. Emily <laughs> like 2020, there you go. <laughs> moss, matcha, and don't know, there you go. <laughs> Let's see, did I grab that? Yeah, lime. Okay, let's do moss, pear, and lime, because I want to use some of these um, more yellowish, uh, yellowish colors. Okay, so let's see, equivalent, equivalent for Prismacolors. Let's see, moss is going to be similar to, oh, actually the Prismacolor moss green is, is also pretty similar. So do moss green for Prismacolor, lime peel, and yellow chartreuse, okay? So for Prismacolor users, do moss green, 1097, lime peel, 1005, and yellow chartreuse, 1004, okay? Oh, thank you for subscribing, Stitcherista. Welcome, welcome to our coloring family. True, true. I might be, a, a, a Secret Service might have something to say about me streaming. I just think if Emily were elected president, she can enact a federal law mandating art and color for everyone. <laughs> then maybe everyone would be happier because they could relax. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Okay, so for the Arteza ones, we say some of the names of my Arteza pencils have rubbed off of my pencil case. Oh no! So we have Moss. A O A zero two nine. Then we have pear A one zero zero and lime A one zero one. And the world would indeed be a happier, more peaceful place. There you go. <laughs> oh, you ladies, you cracked me up. Okay, so let's do. Do I want to do these ones? I feel like I want to do save kind of blue leaves for these ones. Let's do. What do you think? Do you think these are leaves or some sort of flower? I feel like they could be either. I feel like they'd be a good candidate for a different kind of leaf. Let's do... Hmm. Okay, how about this? Let's actually do... See all these branched grass leaves here? These ones here and these ones here. Okay? <laughs> There you go, Jim. Just doing our part, Emily. There you go. This is done at Rich Chris and just... What? Another one? Another earthquake? Let me check. Because they had that 6.4 this morning. Let's look up Ridgecrest, California. Earthquake robot eight minutes ago. Well, they're saying it's actually 7.1. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but to have two back to back, wasn't the other one in Ridgecrest too? Yeah, where yesterday 6.4 earthquake hit. Oh man. That's so scary. Well, hopefully, hopefully everybody's staying safe there. Dang. Well, hopefully that's it though. You know, the pressure, the pressure's been released. It said Ridgecrest, but that's near the same place where the, um, what was that other one? Yesterday, yesterday morning or, or to this morning? Yeah, Southern. I've been in Ridgecrest Quake before back in the early 70s. But that's so scary that they were back to back like that. Dang, I hope everybody's okay. I feel like they were just getting comfortable off that one then to have it happen again. Whew. All right, so moss, lime, and pear. We're gonna do these grasses here. Dang, yeah, that is scary. Okay, we're gonna do darker up top. 
Okay. Let's see, are we in frame? Yes, we're in frame. Okay. Yeah, it was yesterday. Dang. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, she posted it. Yeah, there you go. The other was more inland. Okay, but still, they're so close to each other. Oh, that's right. I've got Nightbot with Lynx. Sorry about that, Crystal. Here, let's see. View deleted message. Let's see. Yeah, sorry. It will only do certain certain links. But yeah, if you just if everyone wants to see, you can just Google it real quick, and it should pull up the information about the earthquake. Sorry about that, Crystal. It's not personal. It's just Nightbot. He's a robot. Okay. It's okay, Crystal. No worries. Okay. So we're doing darker on top. Well, I hope everybody... It's okay. Oh, we're going to put a little bit of this moss green down here too. I wasn't in frame. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. That was my bad. Sorry, Christina. Thank you. I realized that. That was my bad. There we go. Put more of that moss green here. Okay. Dog's new is coming yet. I'm surprised to see how differently all these different color pencils that you use, different brands, lay down so differently. It is. Let's see, Rebecca, did I say hi to you already? Did I miss you? Maybe you were in here earlier. Okay, well, if I missed it, hello, Rebecca, and welcome. <laughs> But yes, they all do lay down just a little bit differently. Okay, so now we're gonna use pear. Okay. But there we're gonna leave a little bit at the bottom, just room for the um, for the lime. we go. Perhaps, perhaps. I just feel bad if I've missed the initial hello. I try to say hello to everybody that comes on in. Okay, there. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more here. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. 
okay, no worries. Well, then I did not miss you. So hello, Rebecca. Connie, hi, everyone. Hope all is well in your worlds. Welcome, welcome, Connie. We are coloring some grass right now in Magical Jungle, our flamingo page, and we are using the Arteza colored pencils. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, now make sure that's in frame. <laughs> Bit down here. I'll turn this for me a little bit. They are great, Cheryl. Plus, I have a coupon code in the description below. I've got the links for the UK and the US version for these on Arteza's website. I believe shipping, I want to say shipping is free. I'll have to double check, but there is a coupon at the bottom. I know, I know, but on the plus side, you get a lot of pencils for us. I mean, these are like $28 and some odd cents. That's US money. I'm not quite sure how it translates to UK. But they're $28 and some odd cents. And you get 72 pencils. That's actually like a really good deal. And that's not even counting the 10% uh, the off coupon. It is, exactly. I picked up so much watching you. I'm so glad, Connie. They are very budget friendly. If you are looking to add some new pencils, these are very budget friendly. Okay, now we're using the Lime. And like I said, with 72 choices, it's, it's hard to go wrong. Okay, lime on the bottom here. Let's give it that little extra bright pop. Okay, and then this one here. If Arteza sees this, they may want Emily to help support and such for Arteza. Well, actually, Kimberly, so there's a little thing at the bottom of the description. Uh, Arteza actually contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to try these out. So truthfully, Arteza sent these to me uh, to review. Now, that being said, I only ever give honest reviews, so I would not say that they're great just because they gave them to me. I will be perfectly, anytime I ever do any kind of review, just know you can always expect a completely honest thing. Like I'll say if I don't like them. And I also, they do have light fastness, fastness ratings right here. They've got the little plus symbols here. And that tells you how, laugh, how light fast like this one is to here. But yeah, no matter what they send me, I will always give you my honest opinion. I'm never going to tell you to go buy something if it's not a good quality thing. And I definitely would not be using them on a page if I didn't like them. So yeah, because I'm actually, uh, they. so if, if you use those links, like I said, there's a little notation at the bottom. I actually get a small commission on... Uh, what you purchase for it but all of it goes anything that I make from um, you know the links or anything um, is all going back into the stream so makes it so that I keep doing what I'm doing oh the pebbles chalks awesome yeah they're great yep <laughs> okay so let's see, we've been live for two hours, 20 minutes. I think we have time for one more section. Let's see, what should we do? What about these little flowers right here? These ones here. Okay, why do that? And I feel like, that's right, from Canada. Sorry, Mia. Thanks, Kimberly. Okay, so let's do kind of a reddish one maybe. Let's take a look at our colors. Okay, let's see. Let's do... I didn't think about the Amazon Canada one. I have an Amazon US affiliate link. I'll look into it. I don't know if I have to live in Canada... Eh, Canada. <laughs> that was a mix of be Canadian or live in Canada. I'll have to look into that. That would be helpful. Just, maybe I could see if I could get an Amazon UK one too, because I have the Amazon U US affiliate link, and it would make it easier for all of you. I missed two leaves. I did. Oh, you're right. Look at that. Right there. Two little fellas. You are right. Seen the other two of the candle links? All right, cool. I'll look into that, Mia. Thank you. The truth is in the coloring anyway. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. 
Hey, dogs are going next. Why do people wait till almost midnight to light fireworks? <laughs> oh no. You are right. I miss the two little leaves. You really like the blue flower? Thanks, Connie. Let's get those here. Oh wait, wrong side, wrong side. It's all right, that's salvageable, that's salvageable. There you go. Yeah, Tyler, we, we actually just discussed that one. Donna let us know, actually. There we go. I accidentally made that little mark there with the There we go. Lighten that a little bit. Let's see. Supply enough reds, or I could be wrong. Well, yeah, there there definitely is. I don't know. There's a few reds. Yeah, Donna, Donna got alerts. We could do an orangey one. That would work. So let's do let's do a red base. Let's choose rose red orange and Tuscan Sun okay so let's do rose red orange let's see that's sunflower let's see sunflower or Tuscan Sun yes Tuscan Sun I think there we go Tuscan Sun hmm no you know I take it back let's do sunflower Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. I know, right, Crystal? Let's see. Yeah, same spot. I know, right, Connie? That's what I'm thinking, Mia. I'm thinking maybe some purple flowers on this side, because a lot of these ones, whoop, a lot of these ones are the same, so we'll probably do these ones the same color as these, so I think purple would be a good balance. All right, so let's see. We chose rose red. Seven point one is pretty big. Okay, so rose red on here is going to be similar to. Let's zoom out a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, let's see. All right, so rose red is going to be similar to. Carmine Red. Okay, so for those of you using Prismacolors, uh, Rose Red, or use Carmine Red for Rose Red. And then we're going to have Orange. Let's see. And actually the Orange and in Prismacolor is also pretty similar, so you're good there. So Carmine Red, Orange, and we're using Sun, let's see, what do we use? Yeah, Sunflower. So sunflower is going to be similar to hmm. I think the closest is going to be Spanish orange, but that should still work just fine. Okay, so for Prismacolor users, Prismacolor users, go ahead and use what did I say? Carmine, orange, and Spanish orange. And actually, in this case, okay, I take it back. Prismacolors users use carmine red, orange, and sunburst yellow. Those are the three colors you're going to use, okay? So you have PC 926, PC 918, and PC 917, okay? So those are the Prismacolor ones. You are coming up will be a big island. There you go. Okay, so for this of us using Arteza, we're going to have Rose Red, Orange, and Sunflower, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to start on the outside a little bit. Okay, just like so. Oh, super zoom. Here we go. Super zoom. Okay, rose red here. There we go. Mm 
And I'm not leaving a harsh line, I'm just fading out just enough to leave a little fuzzy so it'll blend in with the other ones. Okay. And some rose red here. There we go. Rose red here. Thanks, Mia. Okay, I think we're getting a nice balance of colors here. I'm excited to zoom this out and kind of see what we've done tonight. I feel like we've gotten quite a bit done for one night. I think I'm getting better at reading chat, but also getting coloring done at the same time. <laughs> okay, now the orange. Okay, leaving just enough on the inside for the yellow. Thanks for the lurk, Sarah. There we go. Okay, now we're going to use the sunflower. Okay, I'm gonna sort of blend that in here. Thanks for the lurk, Miranda. go okay now I thought about using the same colors for the outside but I think I want to change it up just a little bit okay so we're gonna use something a little bit darker I think so we're gonna grab the garnet which we already have out we're gonna grab the garnet and the let's see burnt ochre and camel a little mix up thanks Christina oh yeah Miranda get some rest sweetie I'm sorry you're not feeling great hopefully at some point you'll be able to get that taken care of okay so for Prismacolor users we're using Garnet which you could use Tuscan Red we're using burnt ochre. You could use the burnt ochre and the Prismacolor and we're using camel, which is similar to, I would say goldenrod, okay? So Tuscan red, burnt ochre and goldenrod. I remember they're not gonna be an exact match, but it's, it's pretty dang close. All right, so we're gonna use the garnet first, which is gonna be down here, okay? I'm sorry, Miranda. Now normally I would probably use like the sleechy metallic gel pens here, but since these are new and I want to use them as much as I can, I want to use these more for the little spaces, unless it's so small that I can't fit in a pencil, you know? Okay, then we're going to use the burnt ochre. Bring it up, you're leaving the tips of it kind of clear. I do like the gel pens as well, Mia. We'll definitely have to add in some Wink of Stella. Oh, that's what else I need to add in the description is a link to the Wink of Stella pens for sure, because those are fun. Okay, just dragging that out like so. Okay. Now we're going to 
gonna take a camel. And take that right across the top. Now I know it's toned down a little bit. The idea is it's still in the red family, but it makes the kind of reddish orange pop that's on the inside. There we go. All right, now we're gonna take our burnt ochre we're going to color it just on the side of that little circle. And we're going to do a little bit of the camel there. Okay. So there are our orangey flowers here. All right. I got Wicca Stella Clear, some same sparkle as the Stardust Clear, just a pointier tip. Oh, there you go. All right. Let's zoom on out and take a look at our progress for tonight because we have been going for about two and a half hours. So that's probably a good time to call it. So we'll wrap up here. All right. So we have our fill the flamingo. We've got our leaves here, some grassy leaves here. We've got our blue flower, orange flower. And actually this is great too because orange and blue are complementary. So we'll probably move on to some purple flowers for these ones and these ones. I feel like this will be a fun plant to kind of get some good colors in. We've got some cute little flowers down here, some more flowers here. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like we have, we, we made a really good start tonight and I'll post the picture and I know I need to get to the other ones where I list the other colors and everything. So bear with me. I had loads to do uh, today. So tomorrow I will try and get all of these colors listed for all of those other two Oz the Octopus pages, as well as I'll get the colors listed for these. I can't say that I'm going to probably list all the Prismacolors um, for this, but I am going to be listing the Arteza ones. So um, let's see, to recap, we got all that done. Uh, let's see, we got a few new subscribers. We had a good handful of donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone for all of their very generous donations. I, it's, it's so wonderful. And yeah, I think that'll be about it. And we will check in. I will see you on Monday. If I ever decide to do a weekend stream, I'll let you all know um, a couple hours ahead of time. Okay, so we'll see you all Monday night. We'll pick up um, where we left off with this. And yeah, I'll get all those things updated on YouTube and, and whatnot. And I'll see you, um, all of you on Facebook and Instagram. Um, be sure to follow our Instagram if you haven't already. Let's put that here. Exclamation Insta. Ooh, I can't spell. Instagram as well as the Facebook. There we go. There's the Facebook. Okay. Um, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Was there anything else? Well, everybody have a good, safe weekend. Oh my goodness. Connie. Can we get some cheers in chat for Connie for that 20 or for the 1999? That is amazing. Oh my goodness. That is so wonderful. Thank you so much, Connie. What a super positive note to leave it on tonight. You are amazing. Thank you. That is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, what a great note to leave it on. All right. All of you wonderful, beautiful people have a lovely weekend. Miranda, I hope you feel better soon. Kimmy and Mia, I hope your colds are better. Just, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming by. I love all your generosity. I love you. And thank you for hanging out with me while we color our magical jungle page. All right. Everyone have a lovely, lovely weekend and have a great night. Thank you, everyone.